Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100. So in this video, um, I'm gonna run through a real quick diagnosis that I did on this little problem child right here on the bottom. This one right here. Um, driving down the street, everything's fine. Then boom, Christmas time. Lights came on, all of the lights. You know, there's three different screens. So I'll show you those three different lights right now. Take a look, and then we'll talk about them some more. Okay, so those are the three different screens that were flashing. And so I was like, what the heck, right? So bottom line is, it turned out it was my voltage regulator in my alternator and I'll try to explain a little bit of how I solved that problem I asked a bunch of people in my Porsche, Porsche Turbo group on Facebook if you're not uh, in that group and you have a 996 join that group but basically I just checked my voltage uh, my, my voltage on my battery it was zero the battery had completely run run down it was running on the battery so uh, long story short i swapped out the alternator and uh problem solved <laughs> so i'll show you uh what i did so here's the new alternator that will soon be going in it's not actually new it's the one that i rebuilt in uh, another video you can look that up on my channel well, let me walk you through the steps that I took to establish that my problem was my voltage regulator. First, I checked my battery to see if it was charged, and it was completely dead. So then I went to charge it to see if it would take a charge. And this is the result that I got. Fully charged. So I know now, almost without a doubt, that the problem is my voltage regulator because my gauge on my dash was showing overcharge which means the alternator is working just fine but the regulator is not regulating the voltage so let's change this alternator out start her up and see what the gauge see what the gauge says here's a quick review of how to get to the alternator and take it out. Number one, remove your air filter housing. Number two, get your Y pipe up out of the way. Be careful of this vacuum hose down here. There's a vacuum hose underneath that's connected to your, I think it's in, in, in 95 or uh, I forget the number. Okay, and then there's of course your your F pipe, disconnect your F pipe. There's uh, about three little 10 millimeter bolts. One is over here hiding on this bracket here. There's a there's a bolt that goes through here, uh, through this in in here. So don't forget that when it's kind of hiding. Then you have your you know your two big hose clamps at your throttle body. And then you want to take your serpentine belt off. And that's going to be, a, I think it's a 15 millimeter nut right here. You know, just crank it that way. Take your belt off. Note how your belt is wrapped if you're going to take it all the way off. You don't have to take it all the way off. I'm not going to take mine all the way off. I'm just going to put a bungee cord on it and take it off right where it is, right here. Only take out the alternator and then put the belt back on. Um, there's two bolts one front facing and there's one rear facing bolt back here okay tricky tricky um if you take this one out first before you even loosen this one it'll make it easier for you so once you crack it it'll keep coming out it won't bind up so because you, your alternator won't shift on you and make it hard to take this one out so pro tip take this one out first before you loosen this one and this one will hold everything so this can come straight out clean. Then you just disconnect your electrical connector in the back. 
swap out your alternator and put everything back. So let's get this thing swapped out and then we'll see what our voltage says on the dash. All right, alternator is swapped out. Um, just reconnected the battery. Gonna go up and see if it starts, see what it sounds like. Go ahead and take a look at the instrument cluster after that and see if we have any lights left. So here goes. got the the boots open no seat belt on and the parking brake is on but other than that everything looks good probably still have to figure out the uh, brake wear sensor issue but for now I'm back on the road and good to go thanks for watching voltage is steady